Hi everyone, my name is Colin Ravenscroft and I work on the Design for Repair team at Microsoft. Today we're going to be dissembling the new Surface Laptop Studio and I'll show you how to get everything apart. Now, I'm going to demonstrate at a high level how to dissemble replaceable components, but detailed instructions will be available in the service guides that are posted on the Microsoft support site. All you're going to need to get started is a spudger, a pair of tweezers, and two Torx Plus screwdrivers, a 3IP and a 6IP. Now, we recommend that you count screws as you go along so that when it comes time to reassembling the device, you don't have screws rattling around inside, potentially causing a short or puncturing a battery. With that, we're gonna get started. So go ahead and close the device, flip it over, and make sure that the hinge is facing away. We're gonna get started by removing the feet and the cosmetic plate that goes around the side here. To do that, we're going to use a spudger starting from one end, and pry up, and peel it off. Next up is the cosmetic plate, and to do that, we're going to use a pair of tweezers. And the edge nearest the hinge here, go ahead and pick that up, and then peel off the whole thing. Now that we have access, we have seven screws here under the feet to take out, as well as an additional two screws out on the brim. To do that, we are using a 3IP screwdriver. Don't forget to take these two on the brim off before you remove the D-plate. With those gone, uh, we're gonna remove the D-plate, that's this bottom cover here, by just pulling up like this and rotating about the back hinge. And then lay it flat on the table in front of you. Now, be a little bit careful as there is a cable connecting the two halves here, uh, connecting the battery pack to the motherboard. And our next step is actually going to be removing the SSD first rather than the battery cable. Removing the SSD shuts down power to the whole system. So we're gonna do that first. And to do that, we have two screws to remove here. The SSD just pulls up and out. Next will be the battery cable. So there's a pull tab here. You're gonna pull up vertically until you hear a snap and then you'll stop. Make sure that you're not pressing on the battery. Uh, don't wanna cause any dents or damage that way. So lift up vertically until that snap and then you slide the connector towards the battery to disengage. Now, you'll notice that uh, the battery has a bunch of pull tabs for stretch to release. Um, that's to aid with disassembly of the battery when it comes to end of life recycling. Um, make sure that you're putting the battery assembly away somewhere safe. Um, you don't want to contact or dent or damage the battery, so make sure that it's somewhere that nothing can fall on it or it's not going to fall onto anything. Okay, now we have access to the inside of the device. Um, and I wanna take a second to recognize the amazing work this team has done to make this device so repairable. You'll notice that all of the connectors, the speakers, fans, motherboard, display module, they're all removable without the use of hidden adhesives or glues. We really wanted to make sure that we were focusing on being able to do the right size repair, um, get you up and running as soon as possible. So with that, we can really go to any repair that we wanna do, but we're gonna start today with the uh, display module. So first here, we're going to remove three out of the four screws on each of the hinges, and that is a six IP driver.
Right. Next, we're going to undo the display cables. Using the spudger, go in from the side and lift up on the latch until it pops up. And then pull on the latch and shift away from the connector. And that'll just slide right out and repeat three more times. And be careful of these foams next to the connectors. Lastly, we need to remove the cable guides for the display here. Um, to do that, we have four 3IP screws and you can just leave the cable guides in place as those will come out when we remove the display. Okay, so our next step is going to be turning this sideways and opening the device, leaving the display on the table. Now, you're gonna wanna hold up the base of the device with one hand so that when you remove the screws that it's not falling onto the display and you have one screw remaining on each side to take out. Free. All right. Now you can put your display module aside. Okay, next thing we're going to move on to is the Surface Connect port and the audio jack. To get started with those, first remove the three screws holding this shield in place and remove the shield. that out of the way, we're going to start with the audio jack. To do that, we need to undo the locking mechanism on the connector here, and then pull out the connector by the pull tab. There are two more 3IP screws here to undo. wiggle the connector out. Next is the Surface Connect port, and there's four screws here, two on the base and two on the motherboard. and then use your spudger to pry up these connectors. Next, we're going to move on to the fans. To, so to get started here, there's another two connectors on the motherboard with a latch that needs to be released and a pull tab. There are two pieces of black tape on each of these fan FPCs that will need to be removed. Lastly, there is one screw on each fan to remove. screws. And these just lift straight out. Next, we're going to remove the subwoofers, both the left and the right. And there is one more piece of tape on this side. And the connectors here, they just have a little ear to lift up.
And then each speaker has three screws. With the speakers removed, we'll now go for the motherboard. To do that, we're going to start by removing all of the connectors that are still attached. So start with the tweeter over here. Move the same way. The wireless pen charging FPC. I'm gonna use the spudger to pry that up. This is the backlight module. Undo the latch, pull the tab. Key set. And the trackpad. And the other tweeter. Next is going to be removing the screws that hold the motherboard in. Um, and we're going to start with the two down here, uh, connecting the thermal module to the base. and then the three holding the shield over the USB-C connectors. There are another four screws here holding the USB-C connectors in themselves, so I'll remove those. Uh, you'll notice that we do have some guidance on areas where screws might be covered up. You can see here where we indicate a screw under here and another screw under here. For the purposes of the motherboard, we have 12 more screws on, on the motherboard itself, including one under this battery cable. We'll remove those. Now to remo remove the motherboard, we're going to tilt up from this side just a little bit and then slide the motherboard out like this. And the last thing we have here are the tweeters to remove. So there's two 3IP screws on each of those. And with that, we finish disassembly of the device. I will note that when it comes to comes time to reassemble the device, removal of the SSD will put it into that repair mode, so the device will not power on unless you connect a charger. So that is an, another step that you need to take when you reassemble.